The health of people and our planet is interconnected. The climate crisis is ever more pressing. And as a health-focused business, Bupa are turning to the earth as its next patient. That's why they've launched Eco Disruptive, to find and support startups that are working to tackle some of humanity's greatest challenges, from climate change, resource depletion, air pollution, and biodiversity loss. Look at that, smashing it. Oh, cut the close up. We sat down with some of the event speakers to discuss just how much the Earth's health impacts our own. Sorry. Thanks so much for sitting down with us this morning. It feels like we talk a lot about the transport industry and the agriculture industry, but you don't often hear about the medical and the health industry when it comes to sustainability. Why is it so important that we make that transformation? The climate crisis is a, is a health crisis. How can we help people to prioritise their health, looking after themselves and the planet, and understand the interconnections? It does feel like there's a paradigm shift where people are starting to talk about it. It feels so tangible when you connect health with climate. And I think that's the way that we can try and drive action, making it personal and, make, and making those connections. A lot of people know me as an investor on Dragon's Den, and I'm desperately passionate about the environmental impact that we have, planetary impact for actually having. So I love startups. I mean, they're fleet of foot. They come from an idea. You know, they're, they're brave, they're creative, they're full of energy, often full of passion. And that's exactly what we need to tackle such a big issue. Businesses can move faster than governments. I think small businesses or SMEs or startups don't know the power that they hold. You are the ones that are going to change the world. Bupa have supported some startup businesses with some really, really cool and impactful ideas and help get them to the stage where they can get out into the world and actually raise investment. We caught up with some of this year's founders to learn more about their inspiring stories and the change they're making. So tell me about Undo. Silicate rocks weather and through that weathering process, they sequester carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. We're speeding this process up by partnering with quarry and mining. We take their wasted byproduct and we spread it over local agricultural land. It's one of the most abundant rocks on earth. And so we can tap into what we've got available to us to improve the soil fertility, soil structure, water retention. Yeah, take it home. Let us know what you think. Let us know the results. The future. We use AI to solve a problem that's very pressing which is the huge scarcity of dermatologists. We train an AI that is able to do one of the two main things that dermatologists do. So diagnosis and measurement of the severity of a condition. So doctors are using this platform to help identify, yeah. Okay. Exactly. You can provide quality care just with patients uploading pictures from their homes and doctors reviewing it asynchronously from their consultations. It reduces the amount of um, transportation needed, the amount of paperwork needed. Well, it's amazing to see AI being used in the context of the medical industry. It's obviously a new technology lots of people are talking about at the moment. At Clearboard, we basically make electric self-driving boats. Our boats create zero pollution. They can be charged with a solar panel, and most importantly, they can be used to collect trash out of the water effortlessly. You can sit in your office and you can drive a fleet of boats that is going to go around and clean all the water for you. We also collect data that never existed before. So when we're looking at the water, we have a bunch of cameras, we have our own AI model that we've built. The data actually helps government bring in better laws because they need data to back why they're banning plastic or making certain decisions, right? The Bupa team also kind of mentored us through the process, through the Eco Disruptive program. What does the world in 2050 with Clearbot in it look like? Please. <laughs> nice. What amazes me walking around this venue is the diversity of businesses that are here, the diversity of startups that makes you realize that sustainability can look like so many different things. There are so many different solutions. It's hard not to feel a little bit more hopeful and optimistic when you walk around an event like this.